come down into the depths of humility and be baptized. For they shall be visited with fire and with the Holy Ghost, and shall receive a remission of their sins. Blessed are ye if ye shall give heed unto the words of these twelve, whom I have chosen from among you to minister unto you, and to be your servants. And again, more blessed are they who shall believe in your words, because that ye shall testify that ye have seen me, and that ye know that I am. Blessed are the poor in spirit who come unto me, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And again, blessed are all they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. And blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. And blessed are all they who do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled with the Holy Ghost. And blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. And blessed are all the pure in heart, for they shall see God. And blessed are all the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. And blessed are all they who are persecuted for my name's sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. For ye shall have great joy and be exceedingly glad, for great shall be your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets who were before you. I give unto you to be the salt of the earth, but if the salt shall lose its savor, wherewith shall the earth be salted? The salt shall thenceforth be good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. I give unto you to be the light of this people. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Do men light a candle and put it under a bushel? Nay, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light to all that are in the house. Therefore let your light so shine before this people that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy but to fulfill. I have given you the law and the commandments of my Father that ye shall believe in me and that ye shall repent of your sins and come unto me with a broken heart and a contrite spirit. Behold, ye have the commandments before you, and the law is fulfilled. Therefore come unto me, and be ye saved. For except ye shall keep my commandments, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. It hath been said by them of old time that whosoever shall kill shall be in danger of the judgment of God. But whosoever is angry with his brother shall be in danger of his judgment. Therefore, if ye shall come unto me, or shall desire to come unto me, and rememberest that thy brother hath aught against thee, go thy way unto thy brother, and first be reconciled to thy brother, and then come unto me with full purpose of heart, and I will receive you. It is written by them of old time that thou shalt not commit adultery. But whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery already in his heart. I give unto you a commandment that ye suffer none of these things to enter into your heart. For it is better that ye should deny yourselves of these things wherein ye will take up your cross than that ye should be cast into hell. And it is written also that thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you and pray for them who despitefully use you and persecute you that ye may be the children of your Father who is in heaven. 
Those things which were of old time, which were under the law, in me are all fulfilled. Old things are done away, and all things have become new. Therefore I would that ye should be perfect, even as I or your Father who is in heaven is perfect. When thou prayest, thou shalt not do so to be seen of men. When thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy Father who is in secret, and thy Father who seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. After this manner therefore pray ye. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. He cannot serve God and mammon. Remember the words which I have spoken, for behold, ye are they whom I have chosen to minister unto this people. Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, what ye shall put on. Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Judge not, that ye be not judged. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? First cast the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast the mote out of thy brother's eye. Ask, and it shall be given unto you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh, receiveth. And he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Therefore all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Enter ye in at the straight gate, because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Beware of false prophets, who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. Wherefore by their fruits ye shall know them. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father who is in heaven. Therefore whoso heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, 
I will liken him unto a wise man who built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man who built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. Whoso remembereth these sayings of mine and doeth them, him will I raise up at the last day. Ye have heard the things which I taught before I ascended to my Father. Therefore, whoso remembereth these sayings of mine and doeth them, him will I raise up at the last day. Marvel not that I said unto you that old things had passed away and that all things had become new. I say unto you that the law is fulfilled that was given unto Moses. Behold, I am he that gave the law, and I am he who covenanted with my people Israel. Therefore the law in me is fulfilled, for I have come to fulfill the law. Therefore it hath an end. I do not destroy the prophets, for as many as have not been fulfilled in me, verily I say unto you, shall all be fulfilled. The covenant which I have made with my people is not all fulfilled, but the law which was given unto Moses hath an end in me. Behold, I am the law and the light. Look unto me and endure to the end, and ye shall live. For unto him that endureth to the end will I give eternal life. I have given unto you the commandments, therefore keep my commandments. And this is the law and the prophets, for they truly testified of me. Ye are my disciples, and ye are a light unto this people who are a remnant of the house of Joseph. And this is the land of your inheritance, and the Father hath given it unto you. And not at any time hath the Father given me commandment that I should tell it unto your brethren at Jerusalem. Neither at any time hath the Father given me commandment that I should tell unto them concerning the other tribes of the house of Israel, whom the Father hath led away out of the land. This much did the Father command me that I should tell unto them. And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also I must bring. And they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Ye are they of whom I said, Other sheep I have which are not of this fold, them also I must bring. And they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Ye have both heard my voice and seen me, and ye are my sheep, and ye are numbered among those whom the Father hath given me. I have other sheep which are not of this land, neither of the land of Jerusalem, neither in any parts of that land round about whither I have been to minister. For they of whom I speak are they who have not as yet heard my voice, neither have I at any time manifested myself unto them. But I have received a commandment of the Father that I shall go unto them, and that they shall hear my voice, and shall be numbered among my sheep, that there may be one fold and one shepherd. Therefore I go to show myself unto them. And I command you that ye shall write these sayings after I am gone, that if it so be that my people at Jerusalem, they who have seen me and been with me in my ministry, do not ask the Father in my name that they may receive a knowledge of you by the Holy Ghost, and also of the other tribes whom they know not of, that these sayings which ye shall write shall be kept and shall be manifested unto the Gentiles, that through the fullness of the Gentiles, the remnant of their seed who shall be scattered forth upon the face of the earth because of their unbelief, may be brought in or may be brought to a knowledge of me, their Redeemer. And then will I gather them in from the four quarters of the earth, and then will I fulfill the covenant which the Father hath made unto all the people of the house of Israel. Behold, in the latter days shall the truth come unto the Gentiles, that the fullness of these things shall be made known unto them. And thus commandeth the Father that I should say unto you, At that day when the Gentiles shall sin against my gospel, and shall be lifted up in the pride of their hearts above all nations, 
and shall reject the fullness of my gospel, behold, saith the Father, I will bring the fullness of my gospel from among them. And then will I remember my covenant which I have made unto my people, O house of Israel, and I will bring my gospel unto them. But if the Gentiles will repent and return unto me, saith the Father, behold, they shall be numbered among my people, O house of Israel. Thus hath the Father commanded me, that I should give unto this people this land for their inheritance. And then the words of the prophet Isaiah shall be fulfilled, which say, Thy watchmen shall lift up the voice, with the voice together shall they sing, for they shall see eye to eye when the Lord shall bring again Zion. Break forth into joy, sing together, ye waste places of Jerusalem. For the Lord hath comforted his people, he hath redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord hath made bare his holy arm in the eyes of all nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of God. My time is at hand. I perceive that ye are weak, that ye cannot understand all my words, which I am commanded of the Father to speak unto you at this time. Go ye unto your homes, and ponder upon the things which I have said, and ask of the Father in my name that ye may understand, and prepare your minds for the morrow, and I come unto you again. But now I go unto the Father, and also to show myself unto the lost tribes of Israel. For they are not lost unto the Father, for he knoweth whither he hath taken them. My bowels are filled with compassion towards you. Have ye any that are sick among you? Bring them hither. Have ye any that are lame, or blind, or halt, or maimed, or leprous, or that are withered, or that are deaf, or that are afflicted in any manner, bring them hither and I will heal them. For I have compassion upon you. My bowels are filled with mercy.
bring your little children. Father, I am troubled because of the wickedness of the people of the house of Israel. Father, I pray unto thee for this people. The eye hath never seen, neither hath the ear heard before, so great and marvelous things as we saw and heard Jesus speak unto the Father. And no tongue can speak, neither can there be written by any man, neither can the hearts of men conceive so great and marvelous things as we both saw and heard Jesus speak. And no one can conceive of the joy which filled our souls at the time we heard him pray for us unto the Father. Amen. Arise. Blessed are ye because of your faith. And now behold, my joy is full. Behold your little ones.
bring forth bread and wine. Father, we ask Thee to bless and sanctify this bread to the souls of all those who partake of it, that they may eat in remembrance of my body, and witness unto Thee, O God, the Eternal Father, that they are willing to take upon them the name of Jesus Christ, and always remember me, and keep my commandments which I have given them, that they may always have my Spirit to be with them. Amen. Amen. Eat. Now, give unto the multitude. There shall one be ordained among you, to him will I give power that he shall break bread and bless it, and give it unto the people of my church, unto all those who shall believe and be baptized in my name. And this shall ye always observe to do, even as I have done even as I have broken bread and blessed it and given it unto you. And this shall ye do in remembrance of my body, which I have shown unto you. And it shall be a testimony unto the Father that ye do always remember me. And if ye do always remember me, ye shall have my spirit to be with you. O God, the Eternal Father, we ask Thee to bless and sanctify this wine to the souls of all those who drink of it, that they may do it in remembrance of my blood which was shed for them, that they may witness unto Thee, O God, the Eternal Father, that they do always remember me, that they may have my spirit to be with them. Amen. Amen. Take the wine of the cup and drink of it.
give unto the multitude, that they might drink of it. Blessed are ye for this thing which ye have done, for this is fulfilling my commandments. And this doth witness unto the Father that ye are willing to do that which I have commanded you. And this shall ye always do to those who repent and are baptized in my name. And ye shall do it in remembrance of my blood, which I have shed for you. That ye may witness unto the Father that ye do always remember me. And if ye do always remember me, ye shall have my spirit to be with you. I give unto you a commandment that ye shall do these things. And if ye shall always do these things, blessed are ye, for ye are built upon my rock. Ye must watch and pray always, lest ye be tempted by the devil, and ye be led away captive by him. And as I have prayed among you, even so shall ye pray in my church, among my people who do repent and are baptized in my name. Behold, I am the light. I have set an example for you. Ye must watch and pray always, lest ye enter into temptation. For Satan desireth to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. Pray in your families unto the Father, always in my name, that your wives and your children may be blessed. And behold, ye shall meet together oft. And ye shall not forbid any man from coming unto you when ye shall meet together, but suffer them that they may come unto you, and forbid them not. I give unto you another commandment, and then I must go unto my Father, that I may fulfill other commandments which he hath given me. And now behold, this is the commandment which I give unto you, that ye shall not suffer any one knowingly to partake of my flesh and blood unworthily when ye shall minister it. Nevertheless, ye shall not cast him out from among you, but ye shall minister unto him, and shall pray for him unto the Father in my name. For ye know not but what they will return, and repent, and come unto me with full purpose of heart, and I shall heal them, and ye shall be the means of bringing salvation unto them. I give you these commandments because of the disputations which have been among you, and blessed are ye if ye have no disputations among you. Now I go unto the Father, because it is expedient that I should go unto the Father for your sakes. Nephi, ye shall call on the Father in my name in mighty prayer. And after ye have done this, ye shall have power that to him upon whom ye shall lay your hands, ye shall give the Holy Ghost and in my name shall ye give it, for thus do mine apostles.
must spread the word. Go tell the people Jesus Christ has ministered unto us. And that he will show himself on the morrow. Tell the others to do likewise. We have seen Jesus Christ, and we heard the voice bearing record that he is the only begotten of the Father. He appeared. Jesus Christ, whom the prophets testified should come into the world. And he blessed the children. I was blind. Now, I see. The Lord did minister unto us, and I was healed. Christ has come. We felt the prints of the nails in his hands and his feet. We know that he lives. I was deaf, and now I hear. Christ will show himself again. Come with us. He invites all to partake of his goodness. How will we minister to them all? Separate the multitude into twelve bodies. Kneel down and pray unto the Father in the name of Jesus. And he taught us to have faith in him and pray always and to follow him down into the waters of baptism. Pray in your families unto the Father always in the name of Jesus Christ, that your wives and children may be blessed. Christ taught us to have faith in him, repent, and be baptized as he was. We pray for those who are not with us. Father, we pray for the Holy Ghost to be given unto us. Having authority given me of Jesus Christ, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. down upon the earth. Pray. O Lord our God, we kneel in prayer and pray for that which we desire. We desire that the Holy Ghost should be given unto us. Our Father, Father, I thank Thee that Thou hast given the Holy Ghost unto these whom I have chosen, and it is because of their belief in me that I have chosen them out of the world. Father, I pray Thee that Thou wilt give the Holy Ghost unto all them that shall believe in their words. And now, Father, I pray unto Thee for them, and also for all those who shall believe on their words, that they may believe in me, that I may be in them, as Thou, Father, art in me, that we may be one.
Father, I thank Thee that Thou hast purified those whom I have chosen because of their faith. And I pray for them, and also for them who shall believe on their words, that they may be purified in me through faith on their words, even as they are purified in me. Father, I pray not for the world, but for those whom Thou hast given me out of the world because of their faith, that they may be purified in me, that I may be in them, as Thou, Father, art in me, that we may be one, that I may be glorified in them. So great faith have I never seen among all the Jews. Wherefore I could not show unto them so great miracles because of their unbelief. There are none of them that have seen so great things as ye have seen. Neither have they heard so great things as ye have heard. God, the Eternal Father, we ask Thee to bless and sanctify this bread to the souls of all those who partake of it, that they may eat in remembrance of my body, and witness unto Thee, O God, the Eternal Father, that they are willing to take upon them the name of Jesus Christ, and always remember me, and keep my commandments which I have given them, that they may always have my spirit to be with them. Amen. He that eateth this bread eateth of my body to his soul. And he that drinketh of this wine drinketh of my blood to his soul. And his soul shall never hunger nor thirst, but shall be filled. Now I finish the commandment which the Father hath commanded me concerning this people who are a remnant of the house of Israel. Ye remember that I spake unto you and said that when the words of Isaiah should be fulfilled, behold, they are written, ye have them before you, therefore search them. And when they shall be fulfilled, then is the fulfilling of the covenant which the Father hath made unto his people, O house of Israel. And then shall the remnants which shall be scattered abroad upon the face of the earth be gathered in from the east and from the west and from the south and from the north and they shall be brought to the knowledge of the Lord their God who hath redeemed them. And I will gather my people together as a man gathereth his sheaves into the floor. And this people will I establish in this land unto the fulfilling of the covenant which I made with your father Jacob and it shall be a new Jerusalem and the powers of heaven shall be in the midst of this people. Yea, even I will be in the midst of you. Ye are the children of the prophets, and ye are of the house of Israel. 
and ye are of the covenant which the Father made with your fathers, saying unto Abraham, And in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. The Father having raised me up unto you first, and sent me to bless you, in turning away every one of you from his iniquities, and this because ye are the children of the covenant. And I will remember the covenant which I have made with my people, and I have covenanted with them that I would gather them together in mine own due time, that I would give unto them again the land of their fathers for their inheritance, which is the land of Jerusalem, which is the promised land unto them forever, saith the Father. And it shall come to pass that the time cometh when the fullness of my gospel shall be preached unto them. And they shall believe in me, that I am Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and shall pray unto the Father in my name. And then shall they say, How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings unto them, that publisheth peace, that bringeth good tidings unto them of good, that publisheth salvation, that saith unto Zion, Thy God reigneth. All these things shall surely come, even as the Father hath commanded me. Then shall this covenant, which the Father hath covenanted with his people, be fulfilled. And then shall Jerusalem be inhabited again with my people, and it shall be the land of their inheritance. I give unto you a sign, that ye may know the time when these things shall be about to take place, that I shall gather in from their long dispersion my people, O house of Israel, and shall establish again among them my Zion. When these things which I declare unto you shall be made known unto the Gentiles, that they may know concerning this people who are a remnant of the house of Jacob, when these things shall be made known unto them of the Father, and shall come forth of the Father from them unto you. For it is wisdom in the Father that they should be established in this land, and be set up as a free people by the power of the Father, that these things might come forth from them unto a remnant of your seed, that the covenant of the Father may be fulfilled which he hath covenanted with his people, O house of Israel. Therefore, when these works, and the works which shall be wrought among you hereafter, shall come forth from the Gentiles unto your seed, which shall dwindle in unbelief because of iniquity, for thus it behooveth the Father that it should come forth from the Gentiles, that he should show forth his power unto the Gentiles for this cause, that the Gentiles, if they will not harden their hearts, that they may repent and come unto me, and be baptized in my name, and know of the true points of my doctrine, that they may be numbered among my people, O house of Israel. And when these things come to pass, that thy seed shall begin to know these things, it shall be a sign unto them that they may know that the work of the Father hath already commenced unto the fulfilling of the covenant which he hath made unto the people who are of the house of Israel. For in that day for my sake shall the Father work a work, which shall be a great and a marvelous work among them. And there shall be among them those who will not believe it, although a man shall declare it unto them. But behold, the life of my servant shall be in my hand. Therefore they shall not hurt him, although he shall be marred because of them. Yet I will heal him, for I will show unto them that my wisdom is greater than the cunning of the devil. Woe be unto the Gentiles, except they repent. But if they will repent, and hearken unto my words, and harden not their hearts, I will establish my church among them. And they shall come in unto the covenant, and be numbered among this, the remnant of Jacob, unto whom I have given this land for their inheritance. And they shall assist my people, the remnant of Jacob, and also as many of the house of Israel as shall come that they may build a city which shall be called the New Jerusalem. And then shall they assist my people, that they may be gathered in, who are scattered upon all the face of the land, in unto the New Jerusalem. And then shall the power of heaven come down among them, and I also will be in the midst. And then shall the work of the Father commence at that day, even when this gospel shall be preached, among the remnant of this people. Verily I say unto you, at that day shall the work of the Father commence among all the dispersed of my people. 
yea, even the tribes which have been lost, which the Father hath led away out of Jerusalem. Yea, the work shall commence among all the dispersed of my people with the Father, to prepare the way whereby they may come unto me, that they may call on the Father in my name. And then shall the work commence with the Father among all nations, in preparing the way whereby his people may be gathered home to the land of their inheritance. And then shall that which is written by Isaiah come to pass. Sing, O barren, thou that didst not bear, break forth into singing. Enlarge the place of thy tent, and let them stretch forth the curtains of thy habitations. Spare not, lengthen thy cords, and strengthen thy stakes. Fear not, for thou shalt not be ashamed, neither be thou confounded. For a small moment have I forsaken thee, but with great mercies will I gather thee. All thy children shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be the peace of thy children. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall revile against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. A commandment I give unto you, that ye search these things diligently, for great are the words of Isaiah. For surely he spake as touching all things concerning my people, which are of the house of Israel. Therefore it must needs be that he must speak also to the Gentiles. And all things that he spake have been and shall be, even according to the words which he spake. Give heed to my words. Write the things which I have told you. And according to the time and the will of the Father, they shall go forth unto the Gentiles. And whosoever will hearken unto my words, and repenteth, and is baptized, the same shall be saved. Search the prophets, for many there be that testify of these things. Having authority given me of Jesus Christ, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. and is baptized, the same shall be saved. Nephi, there are disagreements among the people. By what name shall the church be called? Our Father in heaven, we come to thee in fasting and prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ, we ask thee to show us thy will for this thy church. What will ye that I shall give unto you? Lord, we will that thou would tell us the name whereby we shall call this church. For there are disputations among the people concerning this matter. Why is it that the people should murmur and dispute because of this thing? Have they not read the scriptures? Which say ye must take upon you the name of Christ which is my name. For by this name shall ye be called at the last day. And whoso taketh upon him my name and endureth to the end, the same shall be saved at the last day. Therefore whatsoever ye shall do, ye shall do it in my name. Therefore ye shall call the church in my name. 
and ye shall call upon the Father in my name, that he will bless the church for my sake. And how be it my church, save it be called in my name? For if a church be called in Moses' name, then it be Moses' church. Or if it be called in the name of a man, then it be the church of a man. But if it be called in my name, then it is my church. If it so be that they are built upon my gospel. And if it so be that the church is built upon my gospel, then will the Father show forth his own works in it. I have given unto you my gospel, that I came into the world to do the will of my Father, because my Father sent me. And my Father sent me that I might be lifted up upon the cross. And after that I had been lifted up upon the cross, that I might draw all men unto me. But as I have been lifted up by men, even so should men be lifted up by the Father, to stand before me to be judged of their works, whether they be good or whether they be evil. And for this cause have I been lifted up. Therefore, according to the power of the Father, I will draw all men unto me, that they may be judged according to their works. And whoso repenteth and is baptized in my name shall be filled. And if he endureth to the end, behold, him will I hold guiltless before my Father at that day, when I shall stand to judge the world. No unclean thing can enter into his kingdom. Therefore nothing entereth into his rest, save it be those who have washed their garments in my blood, because of their faith and the repentance of all their sins and their faithfulness unto the end. Now this is the commandment. Repent, all ye ends of the earth, and come unto me and be baptized in my name, that ye may be sanctified by the reception of the Holy Ghost, that ye may stand spotless before me at the last day. This is my gospel. And ye know the things that ye must do in my church. For the works which ye have seen me do, that shall ye also do. If ye do these things, blessed are ye. For ye shall be lifted up at the last day. Write the things which ye have seen and heard. Save it be those which are forbidden. For out of the books which have been written, and which shall be written, shall this people be judged. For by them shall their works be known unto men. And ye shall be judges of this people, according to the judgment which I shall give unto you, which shall be just. Therefore what manner of men ought ye to be? Verily I say unto you, even as I am. And now I go unto the Father. And verily I say unto you, whatsoever things you shall ask the Father in my name shall be given unto you. Therefore ask, and ye shall receive. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For he that asketh receiveth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be open. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For straight is the gate, and narrow is the way that leads to life. And few there be that find it. But wide is the gate, and broad the way which leads to death. And many there be that travel therein, until the night cometh where no man can work.
therefore deny not the power of God, for he worketh according to the faith of the children of men, the same today and tomorrow and forever. And God shall show unto you that that which I have written is true. Come unto Christ and be perfected in him, and deny yourselves of all ungodliness, and love God with all your might, mind, and strength, that by his grace ye may be perfect in Christ. Wherefore, this book is an abridgment of the record of the people of Nephi, and also of the Lamanites, written to the Lamanites, who are a remnant of the house of Israel, and also to Jew and Gentile, written by way of commandment, and also by the spirit of prophecy and of revelation. sealed up and hid up unto the Lord to come forth by the gift and power of God in due time by way of the Gentile, to show unto the remnant of the house of Israel what great things the Lord hath done for their fathers, and that they may know the covenants of the Lord, that they are not cast off forever, and also to the convincing of the Jew and Gentile that Jesus is the Christ, the eternal God.